I just want to grab several onions and stuff them down my pants. Goodest of mornings and sweetest of evenings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this generic video. <laughs> My name is the Huckleberry Jones, and, uh, yeah, it's my first video. Well, technically not. I, I had a bit of a demo video that I made, like, a year and a half ago, and, uh, it was just sort of like a bit of, like, a, hey, I'm, I'm back, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the videos again. It's been so, it's been, like, half a decade. This guy knows what it's like, don't you? Yeah, you do. All old and withered and sad and different. But yeah, folks, this is my first video, and uh, I know that many of you have been waiting for it, and I appreciate all the patience. Uh, things have been chaotic, especially during the pandemic. You know, things got difficult. Um, I had a lot of people that I was helping out, and uh, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to to get down to figuring out exactly how I'm going to c create my first video, or like more or less the video that's going to highlight the beginning of, of an era. But uh, so... Judging by my level, um, I, I, I've played this game quite a bit, and sadly alone, because um, friends are a non-existent species, you see. I mean, I found a couple fairy tales, but most of the time, whenever I end up wanting to actually play this game with people, <laughs> nobody is around to play, and that's okay. But you know what? This game also, um, before the single-player update, uh, this game was actually not that bad to play on your own. Uh, you could still play it even offline, which is... Which was pretty awesome. I mean, if I'm being honest with you folks, this is probably one of the greatest uh, horror games, aside from Alien Isolation, that I've ever played. You hop into the game, and you just run around, you probably scream, you probably have to crap out a new pair of denim, but I mean, you're having a good time, right? And uh, that's, that's what this game's all about. And so, I've played so much of this game. And a new update came out not too long ago where they added a bunch of uh, items that you could actually use to, I guess, get into contact more with the ghost. There's a mirror that kind of, like, peers into the room of one of the houses. There's a uh, summoning circle where you can light all the candles and then you can summon the ghost to you, and it's good for taking photos and stuff like that. But I've only found three. I found the summoning circle, I found the mirror, and I found um, the doll. It's like a little voodoo doll that you, uh, you put hot dogs into, and uh, it doesn't like it. <laughs> and I also wanted to mention, some people have been probably wondering, webcam question mark? Um, I need to set it up. <laughs> I completely lost it. I have no idea where it is. But uh, who knows? I mean, I might even just, uh, just, just make videos like where it shows the entirety of the game or the entirety of whatever content I'm playing or whatever I'm doing, you know. In the future, there's going to be music for sure. There's going to be some... Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of uh, stage work. I'm probably going to be, like, participating in plays or maybe even, you know, doing some acting skits here and there. But uh, expect a lot of great things coming from this channel, and uh, I hope that you folks enjoy what you see. If you don't, well, then freaking cry a little more. I, I don't have all the time in the world to appease to your feelings, all right? Oh, oh! But I have time to appease to the ghost. <laughs> New intel. Reports of light switching. <gasps> Possibly harmless, but be ah. <laughs> Actually, this is probably my favorite one to get, is the light switching one. Uh, I don't know, it adds a, an extra layer of creepy to it. So, uh, let, let me give you a simple rundown. Here's the phasmophobia steps, ladies and gentlemen. Step number one in phasmophobia is always find out what type of ghost you're dealing with. Step number two, uh, forget the objective board. Step number two is always the same as well. Uh, whenever you come into contact with an old lady that has blood coming down her neck, um, run for your life. <laughs> Step number three, um, come back here and take as many of these as possible. If you think I'm actually exaggerating as well, you are sorely mistaken. Uh, you, you need sanity pills more than you actually need family in this game. And as Vin Diesel says... You guys know, you guys are the meme kings and queens of, up there, I don't know shit. Also, please keep in mind, considering this is the first video that I have done in a long time, um, there might be some gla uh, graphical disconfiguration every once in a while, there might be some blur, there might be a little bit of like audio cuts or whatever. Uh, I, I'm learning, I'm going a step at a time, uh, and frankly, that's the way it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I, I feel like one of the reasons why I have to mention that, though, is simply because uh, people are critics, <laughs> you know. And, li and listen, I'm, I'm always down for constructive criticism if you don't like me cool, or if, if you think I need improvement, please let me know. I, I'm more than willing to uh, adapt, change, overcome, um, except for people especially named Connor. Um, it's nothing against you, Connor. It's more or less the fact that um, 
You never invite me out to birthday parties or social events. You you simply just leave me on red all the time. All right, you listen here, Connor. <laughs> Another thing you should know about me. <laughs> I tend to make jokes that have no bearing and no reasoning to them. But to me, they're fucking hilarious. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe to some of you guys, they are too. I, I hope so, at least. I mean, I just... I like having a good time, you know? I want to make sure that everybody that, uh... Had a bad day can have a good one, and if you can find happiness in the content that I create, then that's what matters to Queesh. Also, I, I should probably mention this right off the bat. Keyboard clicking? Yes. I'm sorry. It's a nice keyboard. Here, you want a little taste? But if anybody knows a way to possibly, like, uh, cancel that sort of background noise out and you have any suggestions, uh, please let me know. I'd be down to, uh, to check it out, but it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, if it really does come to push to shove, I can use a controller to play this game, but, uh, I mean, mouse and keyboard's the more direct route anyway, so. Uh, regardless, though, just let me know in the comments. Also, I'm not entirely sure if it came apparent to anybody when they first started watching, but, uh, yeah, there's weather in the game now. And there is sprinting. That was, a uh, that was a feature I was hoping for for a while, because, uh, you basically had walking before for speed and then you had brisk walking for speed. <laughs> These candles just basically help to like really brighten things up around here for a little bit. And you just leave a lighter down by the candle. That way you always know where it is. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I play too much of this fucking game. <laughs> so if you're paying attention, I only took the items that I needed pretty much. Um, you don't really need to take duplicates unless you utterly need to. I think I might have taken two EMFs over here, so I just basically jinxed myself. <laughs> but you only need like a certain amount. You need at least one of everything is usually what I try and do. Except the pills. Leave those in here because you need, you're going to come back in here to check your sanity anyway. Why well, go back to the front door? You say, hey, I got some pro tips for you. All right, so I am playing on professional difficulty. There's a couple of rules I got to follow here. I, when I go inside, the power is going to be turned off automatically, so I'm going to have to go find the generator and turn it on. And I'm not going to explain all the objects, but I mean, EMF, if you see five on there, that means that you, uh, you, 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 got, a, you got an EMF level five ghost on your hand. And we keep going around and trying to grab as many different things as possible and find as much evidence as we can. And once we get inside the journal right here, three individual things you could find out what ghost it is. And if you ever end up getting two evidences like this, for example, EMF and ghost writing, which means level five goes off on this thingy, and you get writing inside this thingy. If you end up getting two of those things, they added a new thing in which I actually love a lot where you can click on something, and if it doesn't show anything like that, Usually it would show one bolted in. If it doesn't show anything at all, that means that it cannot be that evidence. So you click it again and it puts a little line through it. What about this? No. Okay, nothing. So now we know it's either going to be fingerprints, freezing temperatures, or spirit box. I think that's pretty fucking neat, but we actually have no idea what's in there until we get in there. And uh, spooks galore is all I have to say. And I'm really, really happy about their updates. They've been coming out with a lot of content, and uh, daddy impressed. So without further ado, I'm going to be going in there with a camera, a flashlight, and a book. Well, actually, I'm just going to do this for now first. Put that down there. You're going to be hearing a lot of tippity-tapping. I hope it's not too bothersome. If it is, though, I will probably do something about it in the next video, but I hope nobody minds. Because um, I got this keyboard, and it's like my first ever, like, really good keyboard. And uh, I know it's I know it can be loud sometimes, but fuck off. <laughs> I love you, but go away. Also, doors are now automatically opened in several areas on the map, so you actually need to kind of close them all. If you're trying to look for evidence of a door being opened, just close all the doors, and I'm not going to go upstairs. Excuse you? And your face? Pardon yourself? Mom? Okay, oh, I dropped the camera for some odd reason. I think the ghost is upstairs, if I'm being totally blunt. If I'm being Emily Blunt right now. There we go. Generator's now turned on. That's, that's what matters, folks. You see? That's the meaning of life. It's the circle of life. Okay, so. Wait. I closed this. Also, doors are now automatically opened in several areas on the map. I fucking s I got you in the bag. I didn't expect that at all. Okay, so you might be wondering, like, what? Okay, I closed this door when I went in here, and it was automatically opened by the time I came back up, I think. Whoa! We'd like to, uh, announce our sponsor. I'm not sponsored by anybody. It's kind of sad. That was shitty. Okay, yeah, beep beep, motherfucker. What are you, what are you beeping about? Well, I know where the ghost comes from. 
Okay, well now that we know that he's definitely in these hallways, I'm gonna go start setting up some cameras and see what we can get. Hopefully I can catch the season premiere of The Walking Bread. It's all about two guys who love bread so fucking much. I heard you, you son of a bitch. You stop that shenanigans right now. Okay, I need to go over here and and think about my life. But as you can see, coming out here and just having all these items just laying around ready to go, it uh, it really does cut down the time. Um, and I am not a professional in any means, though. You know what? Okay, no, screw that. I actually kind of will say that I am. I don't know, because I've always been waiting for a, a horror game where, like, everything that you do is, like, like, no matter what happens in the game, it's random, and no matter what you do, things are going to be different nearly every single time. You know, it's it's quite the clever game, and it's it's made on Unity as well, which I got to give a lot of praise to people that use Unity to make games. Like you're you're a champ. You know, uh, you you get the Huckleberry ten out of four. Okay, I'm just trying to cover every single angle here with cameras. You know, I try and get I try and get at least like every angle possible. Okay, I'm gonna put one more of these. Eh, probably just boink, right, like, right there, that's, that's pretty good, I gotta, I gotta admit, I've already got two finished, you see, Betty, Betty Clark, listen, we could be friends, but instead, you're being really mean, and I don't like that, you know, I, ghosts, ghosts should show a modicum of respect as well, so detect a ghost presence with a motion sensor, that one's done, might I mention, the reason why doing your optional objectives is really important is because you get extra money when you complete them. The higher the difficulty, the bigger the payout. And how it works is on uh, Amateur, you only get, you get $10, like, in general. But on the higher difficulties, you'll get, uh, on Intermediate, you get $20 for each $10 objective. And on Professional, for each $10 objective, you get $30. Nightmare, you get $40 per objective. It's actually it's not bad at all. So imagine it like two times, three times, four times in difficulty scaling. So this is 30, and that's 30 already. So all I gotta do is throw a crucifix in the hallway, and uh, we're in business. But uh, for now, I'm gonna go keep wasting my time by trying to befriend this son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, Betty. I know you're not a son. I apologize. You're still mean, though. <laughs> My mom once told me that all you need in life is friends and family. And I told her, but mom, I've got chicken tenders at home. Chicken tenders are pretty good. <laughs> Where are you? Well, that's a clear indication. What's your name? Freezing temperatures. You guys see that little breath right there? Uh ha ha ha. Okay. First things first, we've got freezing temperatures. How bonkers am I? It, I'm completely fine. 10% gone is no big deal. Events might occur more often, but I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Don't you worry about me. You got the seal of, of quish approval. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. Look, I just want to talk to you. Ooh, sound sensor's going off. Okay, hallway is exploding. Okay. Let's take a look, and I found a ghost orb. Look at that right there. That little like like fluff ball, a little little speck of dust that flies in the right there. That little thing right there, that's a ghost orb. There we go. So now we've already got two. So let's see what it is and what it isn't. It's not EMF. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting ghost. You know, I like how it said the ghost was like reporting light switching, and uh, we haven't gotten jack shit in that department. <laughs> Is it dots? Okay, it can be dots, it can be spirit box, it can be fingerprints. Well, yeah, there's four here, so that's the four that it'll either be. So it can only be, now that we've got two of these checked off, it can only be that one, that one, that one, or that one. Fingerprints? I don't think it's fingerprints. So I'm going to cross that off, and the reason why is because fingerprints, if a ghost interacts with something and you see fingerprints on it, well, there you go, Bob's your uncle. I mean, I've got to tell you that. I haven't seen any fingerprints. <laughs> I had a UV light and everything, but you know what? I actually didn't check fully. I didn't check the whole perimeter, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump to the gun just yet. Ghost writing, spirit box, or dots, and I don't think it's spirit box because I just talked to the ghost through a spirit box, and it didn't want to. I don't know. Didn't want to check on its car's insurance. Oh. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Well, we got all the evidence already. <laughs> and that's ghost writing. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, looks like just like Mama used to make. She used to make beautiful art. 
you know. I'd, I'd always ask her when she's in a fit of rage if she uh, she needs a pen and paper, and she's like, please. You have no idea how badly I've been wanting to make freaking demon creatures on paper. <sighs> Exhibit A. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, folks. I mean, so there is still things I can do here, and uh, we're going to do some. So let me just quickly see what goes we're dealing with. We're dealing with a revenant. Okay, give me a little bit of a description about the revenant. Uh, the revenant looks an awful lot like your mom. <laughs> The Revenant is a violent ghost that will attack indiscriminately. Their speed can be deceiving as they are slow while dormant. However, as soon as they hunt, they can move incredibly fast. Ooh. Strength. The Revenant will travel at significantly faster speed when hunting their prey. Weakness is hiding from the Revenant. Ooh, okay. So, it's mainly just a hunting ghost. So I'm not going to worry too much. And the reason why I always check is because, look at this. Gorio. It passes through a DOS projector using a video camera is the only way to see it, but only if you're not there. You know what I mean? So there, there's different, like, quirks with a ghost that you got to keep in mind of. The game is actually quite brilliant. I do highly recommend it. Well, so now that I know that I'm pretty much okay, as long as I don't get spotted when they're hunting me, I'm going to go look around a little bit more, because there's more to the house to explore. I'm not just going to call it quits. I just walked in, walked out like three times. That's pretty much it. As you can see, though, yeah, doors are open up here, but the ghost was never actually up here, technically. Doors can just be open when the map begins. Uh, it didn't used to be like that, though. Uh, doors would always be opening, well, they'd always be closed, and then they would open when uh, a ghost touches them, or a player. But I like it, actually. It, it just adds a little bit more of like a, well, people left in a hurry sort of vibe, you know? So I just got the bone. You're probably wondering why I just took a picture of that. You get extra money if you take a picture of the three stars. Yeah, you want that. You want that. Okay. So the last thing I'm trying to check for, because I'm basically good. I could go for the crucifix objective, but that's just trying to, like, that's just trying to lose. <laughs> Because what you have to do is you have to bait the ghost into uh, coming at you, screaming all all Hail Mary and stuff, and uh, yeah. I probably shouldn't say Hail Mary when Christmas time is literally like right around the corner, right? Okay, so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm to Oh, look, the little shoes. Oh. <laughs> what do you call these? Ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> people of the world, <laughs> please tell me that this is not what you guys put on your feet. <laughs> That's like straight up sandpaper. You're not gonna have feet to put shoes on after this. Now this, this is this is more my jam. Yeah, I like that. Brian, you always give me a big old hug. Oh, you're so nice. I'm just looking, in case you're wondering what's happening here, I'm just trying to see if I can find any, uh... Okay, listen, here. You need to lose some weight. Right? <laughs> Yeah! I'm just trying to see if I can find uh, the summoning object. In every map now, there's always one object you can use that uh, interacts with the ghost in some way. I'm trying to find it. They've made it kind of hard to find them sometimes, though, I won't lie. Um, if, if it takes more than like a, like a little bit, like a minute or two, then I'll, I'll just leave. Fine. But if I can find something, I'm going to try to. I should probably turn these lights on really quickly. That'd be, be a wise, wise, wise idea. Excuse me. Stop with the freezing breath. Oh. Okay. I, uh, this is new, actually, folks. The lights don't always flicker like that for ever. <laughs> Sorry, I was just hiding there. I'm like, um, I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> I should probably take cover and run. <laughs> and yes, I took a picture of a dirty sink because that's also money. Who would have thought? You know what? Life, life, it's not that hard to make money. Yeah, look at that. That's a good indication to figure out where the ghost is, actually. Just look for lights having a freaking panic attack. <laughs> well, you bunch of pool noodles, we have done it. I tell you. All right, well, you know what? Let's go. We did it. That, that was awesome. Actually, I'm, I'm actually super impressed that we actually got it that quickly. That's nice. I like it. It's nice. I told you, it's another generic video. What would you expect walking into this? Come on. <laughs> yeah! That's a lot of money. So I wish they would put it like over here on the top right telling you like what the multiplier would be. You know, like difficulty up there, multiplier down there, so times three or whatever. But yeah, so 30, 30, 30, uh, 60, and 30. 
equals 180. So that actually went kind of well, I'm not going to lie. So, um, we're, gonna, we're just going to go again. We're just going to rev up our engines and we're going to crash into a, a full-blown wall of, uh... You know, it, it's actually past midnight when I'm making this and I'm, I'm trying to make funny jokes and it's just, it's, it's not happening. <laughs> but care do you? You do not! Watch what you're saying, the ghosts are listening. I mean... It should be listen to what you're saying, because the ghost... You can't look at your words. <laughs> you know, if if that wasn't any indication for people to probably uh, click off now, I have no idea what it is. It's like, well, great. Good to see that the quality of humor stays high on this channel. It's raining again? Jeez, okay. What, what do you got to say now? What's up? There's been no reports of violence or sightings, but please remain careful. Okay. No violence, no reports, that is, of violence or other unimaginable horrors. Also, by the way, I'm not even entirely sure if this video is going to be coming out before or after Christmas, but just in case it comes out after, happy, happy day, everybody! I hope you had a good one, and I hope that you got at least, uh, some hugs. But yeah, if, if you're wondering what I'm going to be doing, probably a whole lot of nothing. I'm probably going to be making another... Another video, but probably not gonna be phasmophobia just yet. We'll we'll see how the first uh, episode of this does. If you guys want more, please let me know. I uh, I personally am just gonna be doing whatever on the heckin' earth comes to mind, and uh, it's gonna be fun, you know. I mean, like as I said in the future, look look forward to music, look forward to um, some arts. I might even start doing some drawing eventually because I actually found I got a newfound passion for doing. Uh, um, I don't know the exact terminology for it, but it's like it's pixel drawing, like eight bit. Um, I've been doing a little bit of 8 bit art recently, and uh, I'm actually pretty dang good at it. I, I was quite surprised at myself. I, I'm pretty sure I got an idea of the next game I'm going to be playing for you all, and uh, I'm pretty excited. I hope you folks are too. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited. It, it's one of those, like, I am a huge fan of uh, story driven games. Especially, like, recently I've been getting into uh, JRPGs a whole lot recently. Uh, and, ah, man, like, let me tell you, uh, we're going to be playing a lot. <laughs> On, on my channel for sure there's going to be a lot of jrpgs that are going to be coming through um and uh it's just japan you know what you're doing japan you you guys have it on the mark <laughs> like i'm not even joking if you, if none of you have ever played final fantasy please just trust me go into the game having expectations very very low um the first game i started with was actually final fantasy 10 and that game is unbelievably beautiful. It's it's fantastic. I have played 7. I'm actually in the process right now of playing 12, and uh, I'm playing 8. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to do as... Like, I'm, I'm going to be playing them all at some point, because I just love the uh, the universe and the, uh, the the lore all that much. But um, definitely give 10 a go if you're... If you're doing it, and you can actually get the bundle of the uh, HD remasters of the first game and the second game, because uh, there's two, there's two Final Fantasy tens. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be going inside any second now, um, and <laughs> you're like, wait, back up. What the hell was that? What was what? <laughs> what was what? <laughs> <laughs> I've got everything here. I, I just skipped forward through everything because I don't want you all to have to see me bring everything again. And in the future episodes of Phasmophobia, if you folks are enjoying it, I'm probably just going to skip the walk cycle. That way we're always right here at the door, ready to go, right once it begins. Um, but let's see here. I'm going to take... Same strategy, actually, but you know what? No, I'm going to take this and this. So, flashlight, camera, salt. Uh, let's go. Let's do it. Heading in. I always try and make one type of pathway with uh, the salt immediately, the moment that you begin. Because if you see the salt disturbed, and no, you don't disturb it when you walk through it, but once you see it disturbed, that's usually a good indication that the ghost is nearby. Uh, so we're playing on Tanglewood right now. This is actually the smallest house, <laughs> uh, or the smallest map, I guess, in the entire game. And uh, I actually like it quite a bit. It's, it's a really good map. And you know what? It's the tutorial map, technically, but it's... Hello, already? <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm gonna close all these doors here, because again, you don't know if it's actually in any of those rooms. It touched the salt pile, though. So who are we dealing with, actually? Nancy Harris. I probably shouldn't say that name the moment that I get in. Because if you say the ghost's name, it actually can trigger it to do stuff. 
don't want that just yet. I mean, the future, sure. I mean, who wants to have a party with uh, with Mrs. Harris? She's, she's pretty rad. She used to let me and uh, all of my friends dance. That's it. Anything else got a, a whap upside the head. It actually wasn't that pleasant. <laughs> she's kind of a fucking asshole now that I think of it. Where are you? Excuse me? I closed that. I'm gonna take a picture just in case. Uh, little, little pro tip! The pro tip is pretty simple. If you go to your photos and take a picture, yeah, you don't actually need to use the UV light. A lot of people think you do. You don't. As long as you see something that's been opened that you have not opened, or your friends have not opened, take a picture of it. If you get fingerprints, there you go. <laughs> you don't even need to use the UV light, you just know that there's fingerprints. So now, since every door that you keep is closed, you're able to uh, you're able to evaluate things better, and now every time I see a door open, take a picture of it. You get money for it. From time to time, I often put my toe in a jar full of jelly, and then I ask myself. Why did you do that? So, one minor issue I wanted to mention, in case the developers ever one day end up listening, um, y you gotta make it possible for people to uh, light stuff underneath this canopy right here. I think that's what it call it's called at least, but basically, like, right, come on. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's, it's probably, it's not like a huge deal, but like, there, you go outside under a fully covered roof and it, you know, just, it's, it's a little bit silly in my opinion, but whatever. Oh, I didn't turn that on. That's probably fine. No, that's not fine, actually. I'm... It didn't touch that. I'm putting a camera right there. That's actually not good at all. So it looks like it might be a hallway ghost again. Man. I won't lie to you, though. I have gotten more hallway ghosts in my last few months of playing than I have gotten... Uh, ro go roasts. <laughs> Roast beef. But I have gotten uh, ghosts that are actually in rooms. I don't know. I think it's kind of bizarre. Yeah, and that's that's not open. So, <laughs> oh, shout! Delicious, partner. Um. <laughs> okay. Listen, I uh, I know. We oh, we got ghost writing too. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Now the ghost wants to play. Okay, what is that? I gotta take a look at that in a minute. Excuse me. Excuse me, what sort of cartwheels are we doing here? <laughs> look at that! <laughs> they're, they're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think this is uh, an ancient scribble of uh, how people danced. You know, you got the sun in the top right, and then you got somebody who's doing the full body arch, uh, and then you got someone doing the the Naruto run on the bottom right. It's a, it's a work of art. You know what? You know what, Nancy? Not bad. Not bad. I gotta give it to you, Nancy. Okay. So I'm actually convinced that it's this, it's like this segment of hallway, like right between these areas. I know that was a bit of like, whoa, 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 moving too fast. But I'm pretty sure it's this hallway or that hallway over there. I try and, I try and navigate whenever I, uh, whenever I record. I try and tell people like what I'm talking about. That way it makes more sense. EMF. Always just drop an EMF in there. Turn it on, drop it. You don't actually need to look at it. <laughs> just listen for the sound. If you hear a sound, run run over to it. So I'm actually going to turn this stuff off. And they're going to force me to interact with the TV. Fine, jeez. Waste of power. I'm hearing beeps over there. And I don't like it very much. Actually, i got a better idea. Do that. There we go. Now we've got a camera looking straight down the, the dots. So you don't actually need to have a camera to look through the dots to see a ghost. You can look at it even without it, but it'll be easier to see if you have night vision turned on. So again, we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at some of the cameras and see what we can find. And I, I like how they changed the cameras around a little bit. It's easier to see. It might be, I think I just saw dots. I don't know. It might have just been like a split second thing. But I don't know. Best way to be able to tell is by looking at... That's one, and this. This is the big one right here. All right, so now it's just a lot of waiting. Oh, it just touched the lights on the left. 
Yeah, anything can uh, anything can happen. Quite literally. So I'm just trying to see what we can get going here. Actually, does anybody snore? Does anybody snore? And if 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 you do snore, tell me in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of comments about random shit. <laughs> I actually have a serious question, though. If you do snore, uh, do you know your reasoning for it? Because apparently I used to snore, and I don't anymore. And I really actually don't know why. I mean, I think when I was doing some research about it, um, part of it had to do with weight, and I was one uh, chubby bunny back then. So I think I think that explains it as to why. I th I'm pretty sure the ghost is here, right? Let's take a look at the temperature. Five degrees. That's a pretty good sign. Yeah, zero point. It's definitely in this area. Okay. Now I've already got fingerprints. We can't say freezing temperatures yet because you would see your own breath. Are you angry? Do you enjoy hot cross buns? Oh, I heard door open. You must really like hot cross buns. <laughs> is that actually the door that opened? It is. Oh, don't even. St Start with me. Do you want a cupcake? Where are you? Okay, hi, spirit box. Good to see you. So, <laughs> literally right off the bat, we've already got two. It's either a phantom, a po I think it's a poltergeist, personally. Uh, it's either dots, ghost writing, or freezing. T wait. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I am a huge. <laughs> It's a ghost. I knew it was a poltergeist. <laughs> I might have completely forgot that we had ghost writing. <laughs> um, folks, we, we just got the ghost again. So now I'm just going to actually go ahead and uh, I'm going to find the bone. And I'm going to try and do as many... Ooh, candle. I can do that. As many objectives as possible because right now... <laughs> we already solved out what the ghost is. Wait, if it's... Uh, I already know what the poltergeist does, but I want to check... Okay, poltergeist can throw multiple objects at once, but without anything to throw, they become powerless. Uh, reminds me of a couple of temper tantrum people I used to know. Hey, look, boots made for walking. Oh, yeah, I was going to grab the candle. I completely forgot. So, apparently, ghosts blowing out a candle, it's possible. Let's do it. There we go. We'll put up a few. We'll put up a few. I know that it's been in that room over there a little bit, so let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, it already blew the candle out, I think, right? It already blew the candle <laughs> You know, this is an extremely active ghost. I like the poltergeist ghost a lot, too, because it actually, it just does what it wants to. If it wants to throw something, it'll throw something. <laughs> if it wants to make things go brrrr, then it'll, it'll do that, too. Um, what brrrr stands for in a context, I have no idea, but, uh, brrrr, nice pound of whiskey. Oh, and P.S., if you're drinking a pint of whiskey, you're, uh, you're insane. You know, like, I, I hope you're okay, but holy shit. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a bigger legend than I am, that's for sure. Where on earth is the bone? I didn't fully check the basement area. Let's see. Oh, it's a Ouija board. Okay. All right. You bother me. These mannequins bother me, man. Because they can, they can also be anywhere on the map they want to be, and it spooks a lot of people, too. Okay, I've never actually successfully done the Ouija board. They've completely overhauled it. If you guys have seen people play this game before, it's not the same. It's not the same anymore. So you actually have to say goodbye to it as well once you're finished talking to it. And I think you have to hold it uh, to talk to it now. You can't just drop it on the ground, press it, and then go. Excuse yourself? <laughs> Do you want to be excused? Well, I could play that game. I've got a generator that I can turn on and turn off. Whoa, that's a big bone. That's a big bone right there. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, EMF. I get it, I get it. You want love and attention. Yeah, well, guess what? So do I. All right? Hi, my name's Huckleberry Jones. Are you sad and lonely? Guess what? So are we all. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to force this ghost to show itself if we're going to get the, uh, the last objective. But we're also... <laughs> Look, I, I can just leave right now, you know, and everything will be fine, because I've, I've got everything. Or I can be an idiot, <laughs> and I can put this down, talk to the ghost, possibly say the wrong thing, because that, that's the catch now. 
is if you uh, if you don't say goodbye or if you mess up and you say the wrong thing, it'll kill you. It'll come right after you. So, and I haven't actually tried out the new Ouija board yet. So, I mean, I only know that because I've I've read the change log. But I I don't know. I don't know. Screw it. Everybody wants me to. I know they do. All right, let's go. Um, where to hide though if things hit the fan? Always have a plan. Always have a plan. That'll do. Can I go in these? You can't go in these anymore? What? Or could you not go in them before either? Man. Man. Because <laughs> I don't want to hide in the hallway. Yes, I know. Beep, beep, boop, beep, bop. You know what? I'll go, I'll go and sit behind this if things hit the fan. <laughs> if things hit the fan, I'm not going to talk because the ghost does hear you. That's the thing with phasmophobia is if you got a microphone, it makes the game even better. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> so, in, in, oh, in real life, <clears throat> I'm not actually afraid of Ouija boards. In this game, though, since it actually works, I mean, I think everybody has the right to be a little bit like, oh. I do by placing it down on a planche, a heart-shaped wooden slope. Okay, certain questions may lower your sanity more than others, especially if the ghost responds. Okay, here we go. What is your name? What is your name? Goodbye. <laughs> well, that was pointless. <laughs> I want I want to see how bad that affected my sanity. I want I want to see if it was actually that bad. Okay, it actually wasn't that bad, but I'm still going to take another one of these. I I told you, step 3, <laughs> take as many of those as fucking in the game as possible because oh, all right, we're going back in. I wonder if it's because the lights were on. Nah, I don't know. <gasps> Holy fucking shit there, bro. You, uh... You, uh... <laughs> hey, oh... Hey. Hey. Fuck you. <laughs> well, that's about enough of that, I would say. People are like, no, I want to use the Ouija board. Oh, fine. The things I do for people... Holy shit, that was actually awesome. I'm not gonna, I have never seen it that detailed before. A ghost just walking at you randomly. That was cool. That was cool. I can't lie. Okay, here we go. What is your name? What room are you in? Okay, you're in... Goodbye. You're in peace, apparently. <laughs> well, you're not very peaceful if you ask me. <laughs> I didn't even get to get a photo in time, did I? No, I was just too late. I gotta see what the photo looked like. I got an interaction, though. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, it was right there. One more second and I would have had that. Okay, well, you, you, you have an idea of what the Ouija board does. That, that's pretty much it. As long as you say goodbye, you're, you're safe. <laughs> Can we go now? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. Yes, look at that. Whew. Poltergeist. Well, folks, that was a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys want to see more, please let me know down below in the comments. Uh, I'm always open for suggestions. And as always, thank you all so much for tuning in. And if you enjoyed, please feel free to subscribe if you would like. And I will see you all in the next video of whatever I might make. Have a good one. Take it easy. And peace out.